You miss students, what's up? I am outside the School of Public Health with Associate Professor of Epidemiology, Dr. Emily Martin. Good to meet you. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. So, you've done a lot of work with the university, you've done a lot of work with the state of Michigan. You actually recently won the President's Public Engagement Award for state and student leadership. Congratulations on that, that's a huge deal. Thank you. So, tell me a little bit about how U of M is monitoring cases this year and how this approach differs from last year. Absolutely. So we're monitoring a lot of the same things we monitored last year. We're looking at cases. We're looking at people in quarantine, people in isolation. This year, we're also going to be looking at cases in vaccinated versus unvaccinated people to see if there's anything to be worried about there. Uh, we're looking a lot more intensely on the impact in the medical system. So university health service, where you go when you're symptomatic, we're going to look to see how things are going there. And one new thing that started last year on a pilot level and is now more wide scale is we're actually going to be looking at wastewater to really? see where COVID is on campus. Yeah, you can actually detect COVID in sewage. And wow. so there is a team at School of Public Health and College of Engineering that's going to be doing that. It sounds like we're dealing with a lot of data this year compared to last year. Um, what do things look like on campus when either some of those metrics are met or we see something that's a little concerning? So we're watching the data all the time, every day. When things get to a point where we're concerned and one of those metrics are met, we've got committees on campus. Well, one's the Campus Health Response Committee. It's gonna review the data and where we think the infections are coming from, whether we have particular situations or policies that we need to address. It's also reviewed by a panel of public health experts and medical experts that we have on campus. Once those reviews happen, we make recommendations to leadership and we've got any sort of things that we can recommend that would change. It's not an all or nothing proposition. So we've got masking policy indoors now, we can do more masking. We've got some testing, we can do more testing. So it's all about taking what we have and using it strategically, doing more of what we need to, to make sure that we're keeping rates as low as we can. In your expert opinion, how effective is the vaccination against this new Delta variant that we're dealing with this year? That's a good question. So the biggest studies are still showing that the vaccine has very strong protection against Delta and the protection is very strong, particularly against severe illness. And that's, you know, what we really monitor carefully. But what we're seeing is that the vaccine is reducing Delta infections by well over 50%. So we're seeing less than half of what we would see if we didn't have the vaccine. And we're seeing that communities with a lot of vaccination are doing way better than communities without. And so I'm still so grateful that we have such a highly vaccinated community. Here yeah, I am too, I am too. So as we saw in the last year, the pandemic continues to evolve. What can we do to keep those metrics and keep those numbers down this year? Here at Public Health, we like to talk about layered prevention. And so you've got your vaccine, that's great. And you can continue to add these other strategies on in certain situations. If you can add masks into a situation, maybe some testing, maybe some distancing, move events outdoors. You use combinations of these to try to keep our spaces safer and that will make for a happy semester. Awesome. Well, Dr. Martin, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for the great insight. But before I let you go, can I get a go blue? Go blue.